the kick of creativity. The phase two of construction work of IMP Institute's campus was getting delayed so much so that only 40% progress was reported in 24 months for a project that was to be completed in just 15 months. The phase two work included inter alia a staff dining hall for 50 persons. A new director joined the institute. He felt that the 50-seater dining hall will prove to be too inadequate for a growing institute as could be seen from the crowd at lunchtime in the students' canteen, which was being used for staff dining as a stopgap arrangement. There was no dining facility for participants of management training programs, which was being conducted at a low key for want of hostel, dining, and classroom facilities. The director asked the architects to increase the capacity of proposed staff dining hall to 100 persons who regretted it because no land was available for the purpose in the campus, which was spread over two small hills, and any unwarranted cutting of the hills could lead to landslides, which the institute was facing at some buildings under construction. He pondered over the matter for a few months. One night it occurred to him that the land means area, which is expressed in X and Y axis. What about Z axis that he studied in geometry and building drawing? An idea then crossed his mind and he suggested to the architects to design 100 seater dining hall expandable to 200 by raising one more floor, erecting pillars on both sides of the road. No more cutting of the hill was required and making dining hall above the road. The architects designed it. The director then requested to make it 200 seater one, expandable to 400 seats. The architects then made a new design, which could accommodate 150 seats comfortably on each of the two floors, including a VIP dining room on, which, on each floor. It also had a service area on each floor, which could accommodate another 15 to 20 seats. The pillars on the valley side of the road were so wide that two small rooms could be carved, which could be used as a 20-seater seminar rooms, as rooms for small management development programs, or as additional dining rooms, thus making the total capacity to about 400. Rains in Kerala are heavy, and the roof had to be provided with shelter to avoid accumulation of water. Very strong aluminum sheets covering the entire roof had to be used to withstand high velocity of winds coming directly from the Arabian Sea. The iron rails surrounding the roof were not considered safe and hence walls with doors and windows had to be constructed to cover the sides which converted the top floor also into a large dining hall which could be used even for conference purposes taking the total seating capacity of the staff dining hall to about 600, which could accommodate even high number in a buffet arrangement. The initial capacity of 50-seater staff dining hall thus went up tenfold. The rupees 60 lakhs estimated cost went up to rupees 160 lakhs. But the impressive three-story dining hall could meet the requirements of not only the staff even when the academic activity is tripled, but also accommodate students of increased intake till new facilities were created, and also the participants of management development programs for the next seven, eight years till new facilities were created. Was increased capacity a kick of creativity? Is delay in project completion a bane or blessing in disguise? Is constraint as serious as land, 
an opportunity to grow. How much capacity augmentation could be done by architects through creative designs if one requests them? These questions make one ponder as a strategist. More examples of it can be seen in cases is a small, beautiful C, D, E, and F.